Hi, welcome to AppWide Go Live 101 video series. Today we will be covering the Environment Custom Field feature. So we've seen on a previous video the Go Live Environment or page or Environment Inventory, where you have all the structured information of your environments. So the goal today is to use those informations and to display them inside our Jira issues. So let's take a look. So I have an example here of a bug race called Checkout is Broken. So we see here we have two environment fields. So the first one, we know that Jira software provides us with, with an environment text field. So here, for example, I can put stage in to TT. The problem of this field is kind of misleading and ambiguous a bit because it's very hard to, to, to address it when the user can write whatever as an environment and it's very hard to search on it also. And you cannot have like, for example, number issues by environments because you do not know what the, the user are typing here. You cannot display a list or something like this. So to counter that, Environment custom field, on the other hand, is a much powerful alternative to what we can do for environment. For example, here we have the environment. This is an upwide go live environment custom field. You see here three environments, they are part of my inventory. And when it's easy to, like, for, I can add an environment up. And when you click on uh, e-commerce dev, you have the dialogue which presents you all the details that we have in the inventory. For example, the event, the attributes, the uh, like all the location, owner, etc. Of course, these are attributes you already set. And we have the history of all the deployments happening in the environment, and we have the status change. Up. And moreover, what you can do directly from here, you can click on the star in order to get notified notify me when specific events are happening, or you can take a direct operation of the environment directly from here. So kind of for testers, for example, if they want to deploy a version from a bug or something like this, they set a deployed version and you can do it via here. So this is the environment custom field. So let's take a look how to create your own environment custom field. So first of all, you need to have a Jira admin permissions custom field. So you will see how easy it is. So click on add custom field. We have the environments here. So in my example, I would like to display all the environments for the payment application. So up one up or more, create. And the idea is to display them on the payment project. So I get to the payment project here. Up, I'm just like want to target the screen. Up. And I can add my payment environment. Okay, so let's take a look in my example. So I would like to raise a bug in the payment application, payment services, bug. And, up, and then I have my fields here. So I can select, you see here, there is an automatic check because uh, on the environment inventory uh, configuration, we have a mapping between the project and the kind of applications they will display. So in my example, it, this, the fields presents me only with the payment environments. So I can choose payment div one and payment div two and production. For example, this is a bug that I can see on, on all these three environments. Okay, so I have them displayed here, and of course they are all green. So now I would like to show you a more uh, advanced configuration on that. I want to restrict uh, these environments and show only the up ones. So up, let's see. So you see here we have three up environments and we have one down environment. So my goal now is to configure it to the way to have only the up ones. So let's take a look how it's done. So I get back to my custom fields and I look for my field payment and configuration. So we see here the edit up wide field configuration. So I click on it. So here it presents me with a filter. 
what does that filter is exactly this is the filter of my environment inventory i can target more here so in my example of course if you do not know how to use the filter i would invite you to use the guide here so you can see what kind of language you can search by category by application or by 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 status okay so and you can exit if you want me i know up exit tour so me what i want is up status up okay so you can also restrict by permissions but we will not show it here this is just if you can uh, restrict it by users who have access to do some specific uh, actions on the applications they can also like filter on the environment so we're not using it in our demo so now i filtered on only the app environments so i will get to back to my bug So I would just like to repeat. Up. So imagine now that I would like to set payment environment. I see only the three environment displayed. Okay. So the tool offers me the possibility to select only what I searched for when what is restricted in my filters. Okay. So last part of the demo today is to show you on the issue search. I would like to search for uh, this simple ticket. So it's easy to use the the the, cust the environment custom field on the search. You just like, you can search it here via the basic search. Oop. Payment environment, okay. You can use it like this also. Payment environment is not empty. Of, and we have my ticket and I can display it also in the columns. Okay, so and last test is if I export it, let's see how it how it is. Because current fields, okay. Up. okay so the file is imported so this is this is how it looks like when you export a, an environment custom field so we have the column and you have the details of all your environments so you have the id the category the application and the name of the environment okay so what we covered today is to the environment custom field and how powerful uh, a feature of the go live environment add-on that gives you all the details of your environment inside the jira issue so I invite you really to test it and thank you so much.